Good day everyone and welcome to another tutorial. So in this one we are going to cover a quick fix for um, double faces on um, third party models. Now this is not a common issue which is why I decided to make a video on it. I ran into this one this week and it absolutely sucked <laughs> to put it mild. So um, there are two ways to fix this. So let's say somebody sends you a blend file with the model already in the file. There's a small line of code that you're going to use to, to fix it. Don't worry, don't panic, you don't have to be a coder to use this. It's very, very easy. I'm going to show you. It's literally copy, paste, enter. It's like that, it's that easy. The other way to do it is if you have the model as an OBJ, then all you need to do is to press this little, to, to select this little tick box, validate meshes. Now I'm going to show you the problem and I'm going to show you what validate meshes does. So first the problem. Okay, so I'm going to duplicate this model so I can show you what the little piece of code does. So this one looks very, very good just on face value until you press shade smooth. This happens because we are dealing with faces on top of faces. What happens is for some reason, it wants to do double sided faces, but in order for it to do so, it creates another face on top of a face that shares the same edge loop. It's the weirdest thing. So there's no merge by distance or, um, what was the other thing? I don't even recall what the other thing was, but you, you can't remove doubles or merge by distance to, to fix this disaster. So <laughs> the only way to fix it is to either validate the mesh when you import it or to use the small line of code. Okay, so I'm just going to show you what it looks like if you fix it. So I'm going to set this one to shade smooth as well and this is the one we're going to fix. So all you need to do is keep it selected and open a new section over here and just select the Python console. Now I know, I know it's coding. Do not let those eyes glaze over. Do not be afraid. Everything is gonna be fine. So what you do is you type in the following little piece of code. So all you do is you say c.object.data.validate and parentheses. This is the validate function. Now apparently, according to Stack Exchange, this is only applied to the selected object. I don't know whether it applies it to everything, but generally when you um, get models in a, a studio setup or whatever, you tend to get the model either as part of a complete scene or you just get the model to add to a scene. Um, I, I can't speak for every studio, I'm just talking about where I go. So. We're just going to hit enter on this and it should say either true or false for the result. If you get an error, then there's probably an indent or whatever, but you, you shouldn't get an error. So I'm just gonna hit enter on this and then I'm going to recalculate the normals. Okay, so you see already we have a difference, which is great. Not a good result, but it shows that it did something. And then you just recalculate the normals and there you go. Fixed. So let me show you if you go into this one and you recalculate the normals. Let me show you the beautiful result we get. <laughs> so yeah, so that's a very quick fix to um, deal with these weird double faces. Um, I hope this is helpful. Uh, I'll put the little line of code in the description, um, assuming they allow me to put it in there. I don't know since it is a little bit of Python code. I think it's because it's specific to Blender, it should be fine, but I'll make sure it's in the description as well as the link to the Stack Exchange, if I can find it where I got this info. <laughs> so hope you'll find this super useful. Have a great one and God bless.